guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. And we're finally back with Mailbag. Yeah. Um, while we have been away out of the studio, the Mailbag has not too bad, but has slowly been uh, filling up. And we have quarantined this stuff for an extended amount of time, yep. and now we're going to open it. We are still uh, six feet apart from each other, mm -hmm. uh, but we thought, hey, this is probably the perfect time to start opening some packages from the mailbag, from you guys. So, yep. this is Mailbag 208. Everything off the table, Rick. All right. First so, package. First package. What we're going to be doing is we each have our own little piles. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be swapping back and forth, so there will be no grabbing in this mailbag. First time ever. Or Shane biting your arm. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Some, <laughs> some of our rights are being stripped away. <sighs> I enjoy it when he salts my arm, then bites it. I appreciate Steve's. the effort. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I was like, oh shit, this is a spoiler that I just saw. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's not. We've it's already not. seen it. Doctor Who, the Kerblam Man. It's oh, the delivery guy. From yeah, that one okay. episode. Uh, and we have a note. From Kerblam itself. Yep. Hopefully this wasn't sealed with your spit. But if it was, we've been quarantined it for a very long time, so it shouldn't matter. <laughs> Dear crew at Blind Wave, I came across your channel back in 2018 because of your arrow and flash reactions. Then I found out you also liked and reacted to two shows that had, have already been my lifeblood for the past 15 years, Supernatural and Doctor Who. While it saddens me that Supernatural is ending, mm. I look forward to what the boys do next. Yep. Eric and Calvin, if caught up, should be in the reaction to the finale. I didn't really know much about Doctor Who before I started watching, but it, but I quickly became, but it quickly became one of my favorite shows. A few years ago, I was stuck at home recovering from surgery, and to pass the time, I decided to watch the classic series on Hulu before it was taken off. It was really good. Uh, of the first set of Doctors, I like Tom Baker's stories the best. Whether you do a reaction or not, you should all find the time to watch the classic series. I agree. Yeah. Uh, as a thank you for your hours and hours of content, here is the Kerblam Man from Series 11. Doctor Who excels at scary robots. Congratulations on 500,000 subscribers! Yee. It feels so long ago now. Yeah. <laughs> and also yesterday. Yes. Uh, from Kristen from Mankato, Minnesota. Mankato. Uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced. P.S. I missed the ladies' reactions mm. to the... Uh, this Is Us? This Is Us? Yeah, that's what it is. Ah. I missed the ladies' reactions to This Is Us. Like, I knew that's what it was, sure. but I, I couldn't make gotcha. my brain say it. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Kristen. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Calvin, how are, are you caught up on Supernatural? No. You probably have a lot left. I just started season eight. You could do it. Now I that we know that it's ending, yeah. but you want to make it last longer, right? Well, kind of. I mean, we don't know when it's going to be the, the second half of the season of the last season is coming back just because of the coronavirus and stuff. I wish they would take... As long as they need to, to be able to do what they want to do and not, like, you know, what some of the other CW shows had to do this season, which is cut short. Um, so, you might have some time, but that might be interesting. Have all of us in the final reaction of Supernatural? Maybe. I'm going to do that. Karma right. would never forgive me. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, Kristen. Yeah, thank you. Rick's turn from his pile. I have no idea how big it is because I don't want to turn around. All right. It's equally the size of yours. Yeah, this um, is great. Shadow. Shadow. So for those that don't know, we have a reference monitor of what is on the screen. Mm -hmm. So I have to turn around. I can just watch Rick. Yeah, uh, it's like I'm watching Mailbag Live. Yeah. Damn it, it's a fat shirt. Ha <laughs> oh, ha I have to I wait to get it. Every day. What is it? Dang El Sai Oh, cool. Nice. That uh, is a, that's a great shirt. That is a, that is a great shirt. Uh, oh, is it yes. actually a it's fat XL. shirt? Yes. It looks short. It looks like one of those weird, like, not giant, giant-sized shirts. But it's amazing. If it goes under the table, I'm good. It's got Mika saying. It's got o Okabe. Yeah. Okabe. Okabe. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Ah, uh, and their poses. Oh, man. I love anime poses. Uh, it's the best. The best, Jerry. Thank you, Shadow. This is amazing shirt. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now I can't have fat shirts thrown at my face. 
gonna start with the letter. Oh. Letter two. I did two unwittingly. That's true. <laughs> Ninja letter. All right, let's see what we got. You are awesome. YouTube channel. Okay. Let's see here. It just says, you are awesome. And then it gives a YouTube channel, which is TyGuy2056. And he says, watch my video called uh, Nice Eat Eats More Food. Nick. Nick eats more food. Nick, this is a plug for his channel that yes. I appreciate the effort that you sent. And then even coronavirus couldn't keep us away from us in this plug. So everybody, <laughs> he thinks we're awesome. And it's T-Y-G-U-Y-2056. Sounds go watch, fake. Go watch his video called Nick Eats More Food. It's somehow a great amount of effort and that he had to get a stamp, yep. an envelope. Yep. And yet, he tore out a piece of paper. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I really appreciate this. This is from Oscar, Oscar Luska, uh, IA. What state is IA? IA? Iowa. We've done this before. Right? Is it Iowa? It's not Indiana. Because that's I-N. Yeah. So it has to be I think it's Iowa. Iowa. It's probably Iowa. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I assume you're Nick or just Thai guy, but thank you. Thank All right. you. In terms of opening my first letter for the first time in 60 days, I did not expect this. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I didn't expect that either. Feels lumpy. <laughs> What? No. So you can't mad. say that word. It's so uh, a thing now. You can't yeah. say it without having it it's top a, in my head. It's, a, it's the most versatile tool on our toolbox. It really is. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's why it feels lumpy. Why? It is lumpy. It's a fucking Jar Jar. Oh! <laughs> it's a Jar Jar plushie. Ah. Uh, that's fantastic. Surprisingly well textured for being cloth. Yeah? Yeah. Let's... Give that Look at his skin. Let's sacrifice that to Obi. Obi would love that. Oh my gosh, he <laughs> loves Obi. Obi has Star a Vader. Obi has a Yoda. He has a Death Star. He has Stormtroopers. He would love a Jar Jar. Obi. Ready? Look. What is this? What is this? It's a Jar Jar. He is your sacrifice. Take him. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> State of Jar Jar after 10 minutes, his butt is out, his thingy's been pulled down, his vest has been eaten, and his skirt thing is on its last leg here. You see that? Who did that? Whose fault is this? Go okay. him. Okay. <laughs> He's not going to last the night. I'm sure he would, in multiple ways. Yeah, that's Although, fantastic. Maybe less one now that... He's been neutered. Maybe. He you don't still, know. He can still do it. <laughs> Just as the consequences of this Episode time. one, buddies. Yeah. Jar Jar Binks. Oh, I'm so appreciative. Who sent this? There was no name. Ah, oh, mysterious benefactor. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That's thank so you. nice. Thank you. So I have a letter that is addressed to me from Michael. Okay. Rutherford. Michael. Can't let it die. Yep. This letter is for Rick. Mm -hmm. It was originally supposed to arrive for Mailbag 200, but it didn't for some reason. Okay. Luckily, I had an extra copy of it lying around, so I'm able to resend it now. If the first copy shows up before you get this one, you can ignore this. If you get it after reading this, again, ignore it. <laughs> now, without further ado, the letter. Dear Rick, I know that you have that big survey poll thingy at the start of each new year to determine future poll shows, but these poll suggestions are not shows to put in any polls, as I'm not sure whether the rest of the crew would be interested or how likely they are to win. Instead, they are shows you could do with Maggie if she decides to react oh. to anything once High Cube is done. I think she might like these. Okay. At least I hope she does. They have also have really good dubs, in my opinion. Uh, Sounds of Life. A severely underrated anime about high school Koto Club. If you don't know what Koto is, it's the traditional Japanese stringed instrument that often has 13 strings, but it's also a 17 string variant. I love that instrument. Hmm. This anime has a lot of heart and is an amazingly emotionally driven story that I think both of you would love. It has two seasons with 12 episodes each. Sounds like it's up our alley. Snow White with the red hair. 
No, it's not based on the fairy tale. Uh, it's a romance anime. Despite not actually being an adaptation, it still feels very fairy tale esque with a modern uh, medieval European inspired setting. It's two seasons and 12 episodes each. Sounds very interesting. The quintessential quintuplets. While this is technically a harem anime, it's also considered a very wholesome harem anime. I love me some harem. Wholesome harem anime. Cal, do you know what a harem anime is? Yes. Actually, my favorite are reverse harem animes. Yeah, you said that before. Like mm -hmm. a guy with no women? No, like... W one girl and many with guys. With many guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like a word host club. Yes. Um, you can think of it as a romantic comedy. It's about a high school boy who gets hired to tutor five identical-looking quintuplet sisters. Hijinks ensue. There's one season of 12 episodes. The second season set to premiere in October 2020. Mm. Huh. Spice and Wolf, which I've heard of. Uh, I know about, but I have not seen. After School Dice Club, new anime that just aired this fall with 12 episodes. Uh, so far as this writing, a group of high schoolers learning about playing various board and tabletop games. The board games in the show are actual real-world board games that you can play in real life. I think you in particular, Rick, would enjoy it with your board game experience and all. I also just recently learned that you guys happened to do a game night of one of the games featured in After School Dice Club, specifically Ink and Gold. Oh, okay. oh yeah. That was a fun game. Yeah. I don't really watch your game night videos, no offense. Offense taken. So I didn't realize you happened to do that game until someone mentioned it in Discord. Shout out to Blue Spider Maniac on Discord for pointing that out. Back to the topic at hand. After School Dice Club is a very cute, wholesome anime that you're both, that's very enjoyable to watch. Especially for Board Game Geek. Maybe it'll give you ideas for future game nights. Hmm. Anywho, that should do it for now. Like I said earlier, I hope Maggie enjoys these shows. Should you decide to react to any of them once Haikyuu is finished? Sincerely, Michael Rutherford. Maybe I should start watching Game Night. You should indeed. You should. You should definitely you. be watching our D&D role-playing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the letter. We do need recommendations, and those all sound pretty good. I mean, a cute, wholesome anime with board games sounds right up your alley. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. All right, we're going to go with this one, right on the top of the pile. Believe it or not, this is the, one of the first mailbags I've ever had without my knife. I haven't thought about it. Yeah? Yep. Who was there? I know, I'm going to get up. Lazy. I get you. I will rick it up now. The only way to go. <laughs> okay. Nothing with you get hit. <laughs> you get stress relief as well. We got a Funko Pop. This one is, uh, I wouldn't call him assistant regional manager. I would call him assistant, assistant to, to the, the regional, regional manager, Dwight Schrute <laughs> from the office. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, we got, hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I sent you guys something. I'm sending three things to Eric because he's my favorite. But of course it's for everybody. Mr. No Name. No Name. Thank you, Mr. No Man Name. This is awesome. Is that No Faces Brother? It might be. It might be. Wow, I didn't even know they did Funko Pops for for this. This is cool. Oh, there's a set. That's Toby versus Michael. Oh, that's so great. Okay, <laughs> so thank great. you. I need to watch that at some point. Yes, uh, you do. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. We just set the precedent by doing Brooklyn Nine-Nine. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> no promises. Maybe. Next package. Not looking. Ah! Oh God, it's a pop of something. <gasps> I love that this happened. Why? By random. <laughs> it's a jar jar. jar, jar oh my God! Pop. If somehow in a protective box, sheer fate and force of will, every single thing you open today is a jar jar thing. How amazing would that be, Calvin? It would be like a magic trick. It would be like a miracle. It would be like God himself said, I love you, Eric. Look at it. Jar Jar Binks. It's amazing. <laughs> I didn't know they had Jar Jar Pop. Now they have a Wicket Pop, an Admiral Akbar Pop, a Queen Amidala in her full Regal. Naboo regalia, yeah. Lando Calrissian with a cape, and R2. Do mm -hmm. you have R2? Do you enjoy I think pops that's the only one. that don't look like Pops. Me too. Me too. They put a special effort into such a fantastic Dark Lord of the Sith. Certainly a memorable character. Mm. That's the only thing that redeems him. There's a fake story about him. Make it big. 
Because it's in front of Rick. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Who sent that? Um, there was no name on this one either. Anonymous benefactor. It's just two D Y J F H six T N. That's not a name. So you think Internet Conspiracy Theory Jar Jar or Internet Conspiracy Theory Shaggy from Scooby Doo? Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Yeah. Yeah. Shaggy. Yeah. The Jar Jar one is taking what is already a perfectly crafted, excellently executed joke character <laughs> <laughs> and trying to make sense of him. <laughs> What's the Shaggy one? Uh, that he is... He's like a god? Yeah, he's, he's extremely powerful. Well, at one point in a fight, he, uh... What did he do? He took something, and it, like... He couldn't be touched in a fight. Like, he was dodging everything. And then people took that, and they put it to the, uh, Ultra Instinct theme from Dragon Ball Super. And it was one of the greatest things ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It feels weird reaching for a package and not having Aaron throw it at you. Yeah. <laughs> feels right. good. Oh no, it's one of those terrible ones. They have like insulation. Yeah. Yeah. Blu-ray copy of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I love nice. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Robert Downey Jr. Yes, indeed. Never seen it. Yeah. And Val Kilmer. It's amazing. Yeah. Val Kilmer. yeah. And a Blu-ray copy. Another package. Of Mary and Max. Mm, don't know that. Is an animated or claymation, looks like, black and white. It's got Philip Sr. Hoffman. Oh, yeah? Only name I recognize. Yeah, it looks claymation, but in black and white, except there's, like, red in it as well, Schindler's List Dog. <laughs> Eric mm. Bana. Eric oh, Bana. Eric Bana. I like Eric Bana. Interesting. So they're, like, voice actors? Hey, Blind Wave, I hope everyone is well. Mary and Max is a very unique and interesting movie. Enjoy from LKG. Ah, oh, LKG, oh, thank LKG. you. And another movie you might not have seen from LKG. I haven't. Thank you, LKG. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, we will open this one. This is uh, Nate from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Can't find anything in here. Huh? Oh, there it is. So where's Waldo Pop? <laughs> nice. You know, we can actually do that with our pops. We, we could. Them. We could. Yeah. We could literally we do, like, literally... scenes <laughs> oh my gosh, with that... nothing but pops. That would be amazing. <laughs> and you have to find Waldo. We should definitely do that. Are we bored enough to do that? We have to have a thousand. We have the bottom floor. We have to have at least a thousand. How many pops do you think are just right there? You guys can't right see there? it, but right on the other side of the camera right now has Is to be 1,000 pops. pops. <laughs> like, there was one time where Benjamin sent us like 400 pops in one mailbag. In one. Yeah, DeBaba was not happy. Because <laughs> she sorts them. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't 400, but it was a lot. It was it was like 100. It was, yeah, it was, it was like easily 100. 80. So, all right, well, now we have a fun game. We're Thank like, you. what do we do with all these pops? Now we know. We make a live fake action. Where's Waldo? That'd be great. We do that, and Rick, you use it as like a clue. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, Fantastic. Thank you, Nate, from somewhere. Thank you. Remember those old, um, like, I Spy books? Where they just yep. have a bunch of shit from this. your your shit drawer in your yeah. kitchen, just all over, and you have to find this stuff? I love those things. They yeah. those video games, too. Also from Shadow. <laughs> yeah. Sidesgate. From Sidesgate? It's an Oompa, right? Oompa. Yeah, look Oompa. at it. Yeah. Sidesgate on the other side. Yep. It is. I didn't see the tag. I was like, what oh, kind of fucking Pokemon Oompa? is this? Yeah, it's, a, it's a steel Oompa, right? Yeah, steel. Awesome. That's awesome. We, uh, oh. as of this recording, we only have a little bit of Steinsgate left, yeah. so we'll do what we can to get that on the table for us. Ah. And then it'll be up to you to vote for Steinsgate Zero in the next poll. Mm. Yep. And another one. And another one. This oh, is a, it's a green one. Grass or a leaf oopa. I can't remember what they called it in the show. Awesome. That's great. So happy. And so sad at the same time. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, Blind Wave, sending you guys this little metal oopa from episode one uh, while I'm also in quarantine. Hope you guys enjoy these whenever we get 
out of quarantine. Mm -hmm. You have a big return mailbag <laughs> from Shadow. Thank you, Shadow. Very nice. Also, here's a mysterious green Oopa. I wonder how far along in Steins Gate you guys will be when you finally get these. Elsai Kungru from Shadow. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you. Thank these you are much. great. I believe right now we're at episode 23 is the next one we'll be reacting to. Uh -huh. It's taking me back to simpler times. Yep. Yes. Much simpler times. Man. Yeah. Uh, I bet you that Steins Gate, I mean, I love Steins Gate, but I think the greatest thing about it, I think it might have the best, I haven't seen the original, but it might have the best English dub I've ever heard. It's amazing. Just by how well it's written. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, anyway. <sighs> it's up there. It wouldn't have happened without the, the main voice actor. I know. Yeah. He's great. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. No. Oh. Right. <laughs> it's weird not being in the package, isn't it? I know. It? That shirt. No. Let it be fat. Skinny. Please. It is fat. Please! But I don't care, because I wouldn't wear this anyway. What? Oh my gosh. Haters gonna hate. Oh man! How could it not go to you? <laughs> I swear God is dead! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! I want that shirt right now on my body. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Who's it from? Oh, that's a real shame. Oh, wait. Benjamin. Yes! Benjamin! Oh, Benjamin has a big box over there. I hope it's nothing but Jar Jar. <laughs> this is probably because of the... The what? The Clone Wars episode. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. It's been that long oh, ago. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Kool-Aid Man. Fantastic. Thank you, Benjamin. Fuck. Thank you, Benjamin. All right. I got a package here, and it says my name on it. This is from Mac. Mac. Yeah. Mac. Mac, Mac, Mac attack. attack. It's an attack of Max. Oh, oh, right. right. Macintosh. Got a note here. Eric, in your Chapter 4, Reaction to Ruby Volume 7, you said that you needed a Thunder Thigh shirt. How could I refuse you that request? I got this custom ordered right away. Big thanks to the Fastest Fool Alive for helping me with the lack of Photoshop skills. Oh, I gotta look at it right now. I'm excited. It's gonna be Nora. Oh, Aaron's gonna be so oh, goddamn jealous. He is gonna be look so at pissed. That. That's awesome. That's amazing. He is gonna be so pissed. Are you guys? Oh my god. I love it. He'd be sitting over here like, oh. My only regret is that we've already finished Ruby, this volume. Yeah. Uh, but I'll have to wear it. I'll wear it. Uh, okay. Be another volume. Uh, he says, I love Ruby. I love Blind Wave. So, yeah, your Ruby reactions are always appreciated. And it's okay. I forgive you for all the little details that you guys forget. I get it. You watch a lot of stuff, and I'm glad you're having fun with the show. I look forward to seeing you guys in the summer of 2021. I already have my hotel reservation switched over, so I'm all set. Hope you and all of your loved ones are doing well. Your friend, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Thank you very uh, much. As many of you know, we did cancel WaveCon 2020, uh, yep. but we did put it out there for people that want to come to WaveCon 2021 can switch their reservations over to that uh, at the Lafayette. So, yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. I'll be wearing this, WaveCon 2021. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. We already had a whole bunch of puns lined up. Yeah. 2020 and blind. I know. It, it all went to waste. <sighs> Next package. Thank you, Matt. Oh, I have a nectar from Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Quarantine time. <gasps> With a little bit of toilet paper oh, on it. Oh, how thoughtful. That is very thoughtful. Dear crew at Blind Wave, my name is Hunter, and this is my first time writing. I'm an on and off patron on Patreon. I have been watching your channel since before the Wave Cave and love your CW show reactions, ah. as well as your Umbrella Academy reactions. Oh, yeah, I'm also just starting to get into Torchbearer Academy and Game Night series. I hate Candyland too. Oh. No you had me. I uh, just wanted to write a letter to show my appreciation for what you guys do. Sincerely, Hunter Maynard. Hunter, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you very much again for the considerate gift of toilet paper. As well as the patrons. Yep. And the Patreon support. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Hunter. You. Hunter. This is from Shadow. Shadow. Shadow again. 
Spit him. Spit him. Hello, Pace. I think this is one of my favorite pieces of Japanese art. Okay. Is it? I think. So it looks like it. It's a wall tapestry. Oh. Ooh. It's a cloth tapestry. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, nice. Very, very cool. Look at that. That's incredible. Yep. I don't know the name, but I definitely recognize it. Very cool. Hey, Caruso saw this and thought it might be nice to hang around somewhere in the wave cave. This yeah. was kind of random and spontaneous purpose so purchase, so hopefully it turns out well and looks good from Shadow. It's awesome. Thank, Thank you, you Shadow. Thank you. What's that from, Rick? I mean, it's just a piece oh, of art. Yeah, it's a historical Japanese Oh, okay. Yeah, painting. I, I the Mona Lisa. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Mona Lisa was from a comic book. I recognized it, but I thought it was just from, like, an anime or something. It's been uh, homage a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's why I recognize it. Oh, look, you got a new tablecloth. Ha-ha! <laughs> nice. Very cool. Thank you, Shadow. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Let me open this one. This is from Mr. No Name, so I'm wondering if maybe it's another office pop or something like that. <laughs> yes. It is not. Ah? Uh-huh. It is Patrick Starr with a board nailed to his head. No! <laughs> And that is a pop not shaped like another pop. That That Indeed. is true. That is not a pop shaped yeah. pop. That no, looks great. kind of terrifying. They are. It, it kind of reminds me of like... Like Japanese horror. Maybe. A yeah. little bit. Like The Grudge. Like Oogie Boogie from Night yeah. Before Christmas. And he just has his dead eyes with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like, I'll do this to you next. <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much, Mr. No Name. Yeah. Patrick Starr. Isn't there something pop. special about a... Uh, Starfish's brain. Well, um, there's a brain in each of their limbs. That's it. Yeah. So if you cut off a limb, it will regrow into another full starfish. Mm-hmm. Sailors early on, foolishly, when they caught a starfish, when they were uh, like crabbing or anything like that, because they were a nuisance, they would eat the the shellfish and stuff that they were catching. They would cut them in half or cut them into quarters and throw them back into the sea. But actually, they were just Multiplying their population uh-huh. exponentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we were fighting a hydra. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Mr. No Name. Next package! Yeah! Nate from somewhere. Find out where it's something. Or we won't. And it'll be great. When it becomes a time tower, it can be Nate from someday. Oh. Ah. Maybe. Packing this. Spoilers! Oh, we have the Monopoly Man. Uh, okay. Mr. Monopoly. Monopoly. We're getting a lot of, like, things from when you were a kid. Yeah. It's been taking unwittingly parents' money for generations. Mm. Yeah, true. It always bothered me how he didn't really use his cane. I always thought he had a monocle. You think of Mr. Peanut? Uh, no. Me. I might be thinking <laughs> of that one guy from Ace Ventura 2 that he calls Monopoly guy. Oh, mm. uh, did he have a monocle? I think so. It would be great if he had... No. Yeah, I I'm thinking of that guy. <laughs> Man, I feel like I just had my own therapy session. Your own therapy <laughs> yeah, session? Yeah, I was like, you no, I had, to, I, had to, I had to dig deep. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate. Uh, my ear just squeaked when I sniffed. Like that? Yeah, like... Here, like it. Another Steins Gate shirt. Ooh. What size? Don't be fat, don't be fat, don't be fat, don't be fat, don't be fat. The, um... The tag is folded over. The large! Ah! Wow. That's, that's cool. That's really great. They're slightly more realistically drawn. Yeah. Uh, this is, I believe... No, okay, it's not. I was gonna say I think it's the art from the graphic novel, but no, it's mm. different. Awesome, Very Steins cool. Gate is amazing. Thank you so much. Love it so yep. much. It's it's an incredible show. It is. I did not think I would be this invested in it. Yeah, I don't know, but it's got shining fingers in it. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Very cool. Thank and you. I, she's kind of redeemed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but not in my heart. Forgive, but not forget. Well, thank you very much. Again, 
Steins Gate is coming to an end for us, so all of this stuff that people have probably sent over the last two months. Yeah. It's gonna, we'll try to squeak it in there at the end. Try. Zero. This one, which I think is a poster. I think it's a blowgun. It can double. Ooh. It's awesome for that sound. Yeah. It's a great sound. All right. This is a poster for Good Omens. I think hey. it's Benjamin, right? Benjamin probably ben sent Randa. this. this. He, he says it's a poster for everything we react to. And oh, over the quarantine, a great poster too. we did uh, Good Omens, so... Mm-hmm. The last one of those just went on, the, on YouTube this week. So nice. very, very cool. Thank you so much. What a great yeah. t- tradition you've started. Indeed. Yeah, I believe it's Benjamin, unless someone is taking up his mantle. Oh, a shadow. Got a lot from Shadow this week. The Shadow? No, just Shadow. Shadow. Oh, the Lord of Bell. No, just Peter. Some guy. <laughs> that was... I was like Patrick Starr, reading the line. <laughs> All righty. Secondly, Patrick Starr is the guy from Coach. Mm, nope. We have a shirt. Yep. It's not fat. Aww. It is a medium. Uh-huh. And it is also Steins Gate. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. That's a real cool one. That's I like great. that. That's oh. a good one. I'm going to put that on. That might be the best one yet. Right. Now. Hair's getting so long. Sweet. I love it. It's got the imagery from the opening in it, too. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you, Shadow. Made from somewhere. Made from somewhere. It's cold. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> uh, they have pops of everything. Yeah, they do. They every franchise imaginable. That's crazy. Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kid. And they have all the other flavors, they, too. They must. Oh, they've got... Uh, so, would you like to guess some of the... Strawberries. Uh, I don't see strawberry here. Lemon. There is lemon. Orange. Orange. There is orange. And there's a red one, but it's not strawberry. Cherry. Nope. Raspberry. Nope. <laughs> Watermelon. Redberry. What? That's <laughs> bullshit. Uh, what is this shit? I'm sorry. Oh, that's that. what it is. Very cool. Thank you. They designed this much. pop and it's like, blue raspberry? Well, this one's red. What do we call it? Redberry. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Sour Patch that. Kids cereal. You guys seen that? No, that sounds terrible. It does sound terrible. <laughs> like, if that does anything like what Fruit Loops does. Yeah. Ah! Sour milk? Are you kidding me? That's terrible. All right, this is from Mr. No Name. It is... A box without a box? Oh. It says stop. Yeah. Stop. Do not put it on shelf. Outdoor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What? This what? is one of the what? best pops of all time. What? It's Vegeta eating ramen noodles. Oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> Why would they do this? Why would I ask that question? Collection uh-huh. complete. Uh-huh. That's so fantastic. He's sitting, crisscross applesauce, eating noodles. This That's... is definitely from Dragon Ball Super, right? What would this be from? Dragon Ball Z. Who cares? Yeah, I can't. It says Z on it. You're right. Yeah. Remember it, but I'm sure it happened. <sighs> Now, I love that it's immortalized in plastic. 2020 Spring Convention Limited Edition. Well, there ain't no conventions going on in 2020 in the summer, nope. so that's why we're getting these now. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're still in the, the stop, do not put on shelf packaging. Uh, hey guys, it's been a while since I sent you something. I'm sending three things to Eric. He's my favorite. Of course, I love everybody. Mr. No Name. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. No Name. And we will all enjoy that. This is one of my favorite pops of all time, and I'm not even kidding. Just because of how ridiculous this choice was. Yeah. Like, of all the Vegeta things to do, it's of, this one. Of all the poses yeah. that I imagine Vegeta in, he's even, that is one of the last ones. He's even blowing on it to cool it down. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. No Name. <laughs> so ridiculous. I love it. Alrighty. Next package. Zipson! <laughs> Now the year may start. <laughs> huh? 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 This, from here, it looks like a bunch Tiny. of cards from 
Uh, the Dungeons Dragons Ministries game. Oh my gosh. What is it? That's what it is. Is it Jarred or something? I really wish Rick had opened this. Okay. It is premium, good and essential milk fragrance oil. Like it smells like milk? Yes. And you can smell like milk too? Yeah. Like, you know those diffuser things? Yeah. Yeah. Where it like warms it up and yeah. diffuses yeah. it and makes okay. your house smell like something? Okay. It smells like milk. I'm not a big fan of milk in terms of smell, <laughs> taste, unless it's in cereal. Yeah. It smells like milk? It smells like milk. Smell okay. Like Idea for WiffCon 2021. A live clue they had to solve. They don't know that the real clue to solve the puzzle smells like milk. They have to follow the nose. <laughs> they have to go around smelling things. The nose knows. Uh, yeah, you know how we talk about the new normal and how people need to make sure, you know, they're, they're, they're not getting things towards their face and stuff? Fuck that! We're doing milk smelling! <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is. Just spin the cap off and smell. Impressive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like completely unimpressive. It's a, it's, it's a milk fragrance. I, am, <laughs> I don't know what I expected. We're talking like cow milk, right? It's it, it, it's a little. It's strong. It's it's strong. It might not it, be pasteurized. It's ambiguous what it. Yeah. What kind of milk it is? Milk. Could be breast milk. milk. Juice. Thing. It is manufactured by GE. Thank you, GE. Thank you. For oh no, wait, that's good essential. Oh, I thought it was be general. <laughs> Me too. I was gonna thank like them GE for both milk. this <laughs> and the Star Wars holiday special yeah. that they sponsored. Oh, that's it's amazing. ABC. Huh? Didn't it say in the beginning like sponsored by General Electric? Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure it was sponsored by a few people. Yeah, I was thinking JBC. because it had zero budget. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, so this has a URL note. Okay. Okay. I will read at the end. Is it from Tone. Uh, it's usually the case. Juice. Did you get the URL before you ripped it? I'm oh, it's, being it's, careful. It's intact. This is a marvel. Ooh, okay. It's a bounty Black box. Core, the Infinity Saga. Ooh. Nice. Try to make the box survive. I succeeded. Huzzah! All right, well, we're starting off with a shirt. Actually, we're starting off with a pin of Captain Marvel. Ah, cool. Okay. Awesome. Nice. But awesome. We've got... Peter Tingle. <laughs> ah, that's cool. I like that one. <laughs> it is a large. A large. And then we have a Mjolnir sticker. Nice. Is it like clear so you can put it on your laptop? No. No? Okay. I mean, you can still put it on your laptop. Yeah. yeah. Star Lord with Power Stone. Ooh. Right. Sweet. And Black so, so Panther. Bitch. Um, he's got like the the purple suit from um, the end of the movie. The kinetic, kinetic energy. It's gotcha. charged. Yeah, that's great. That is awesome. It glows in the dark as well. Oh, I have both of them do. Ooh, oh, that's sweet. Does Peter? Uh, uh, his eyes glow in the dark? Uh, they have to, right? Like that's the moment where it's like, uh, you know, you're mortal. Oh, yeah. You said it bit. yourself, bitch. With the guardians, like, and then as soon as he says that, his eyes go like all galaxy like. Yeah, yeah they're purple. He's got like purple. Uh, lightning thing yeah, on his face. Sweet. He's holding a thing that look, looks like the glows. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Oh, I don't want to watch wrestling. Not right now. Who are you and what have you done? <laughs> Some people were worried about like porn accidentally playing on their cameras. Mine's just wrestling. wrestling. I'm pretty sure this is an old one. Kuro Blind Wave, Eric Shane, Rick Calvin, and Aaron for the Tone. Time for another Marvel Collector Core box. And this month we celebrate the holidays with Marvel. Maybe a little early, but I hope this box starts off with a wonderful holiday season for all the Blind Wave crew and your families. Mm. Looks like we'll have one final Star Wars box coming in December. Then it'll only be Marvel boxes every month for me from then on. I have not heard anything about the Marvel boxes ending anytime soon. Other than that, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, The Rise of Skywalker in a few weeks. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say this is an old note. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, Tone. Thank you, Tone. Very much. Yeah, thank you, Tone. That was back before when we were innocent, before we watched the holiday special. Yeah. We watched the holiday special and then Rise of Skywalker. On the same day. An hour later. Yeah. <laughs> Man. 
What a day. What a day. Well, we have to play Battlefront as well. <laughs> All right. This is from... This is from Shadow. Ooh, Shadow wants to make sure everybody's getting some shirts to watch Stein's Gate in. Yeah. Uh, this one is medium. Oh. And it... Wow. Very cool. So this has most of the players oh. uh, in their own boxes nice. with numbers correlating to them. Oh. Much like the, uh, the tracker. Meter. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. So very, very cool. I love it. I like this one. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Guys are the uh, lab members. Yeah. Yeah, it would be lab number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mm-hmm. Very cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shadow. Right here. Next package is from Shadow. Yeah. Ah. I'm surprised that that's a sign of a trip. Oh, darn. I thought it was Pringles. Wait a minute. This is Pringles. basically is. <laughs> it's I saw the delicious the chips. Delicious chips. You want to try it? Yeah. That guy we'll looks try it. like... What does he look like? I don't know, but he is so fucking Loving happy the quarantine. to have chips. Pretty happy. Loving the quarantine snack vlogs, the return mailbag should be interesting. Lots of fun. Enjoy these chips. Obi's secret admirer. Oh, oh okay. He looks a little like the chef from Phoenix Wright 2. Yeah. Hello. Ah! There are no chips! <laughs> you got me on that one, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't Damn. know until I looked at the bottom and there was like chips, fake snake or spring snake. Oh, it trap. fucking does. <laughs> I would not have known any other way. I was like, do I want the that, chips? And I'm so like, good. yeah, they've been sealed. Yeah. They've been in there for a They're while. Fine. It's going to be fine. God damn it. <laughs> damn it, get this shit back in. I can tell you were generally, genuinely surprised because, like, it just, he just, like, slaps your face and you're like, oh. Uh, that's why it was so hard to open. I'm yeah. like, who does this? The chips. I'm going to do this every single time I open them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. We're back well in the done. bag. Delicious chips. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Nate from somewhere with yet another package. Pop. Coca Cola Polar Bear. Very cute. Oh, yeah. Uh, Every franchise. Yeah. Every Pretty much. one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he's got a scarf. He's got a can of Coke. Or a bottle of Coke, I guess. Yeah. It just looks like he's having a good time. Does he have the blood of his victims on him? Because they are the most one of the most dangerous animals in the world. One of the only bears that is purely a carnivore. Yeah. Yeah. Because there ain't no plants and berries and roots and shit. I do remember getting chased by the polar bear in Crash Bandicoot, and it was terrifying. Oh. So, wouldn't want to meet one of these things in real life unless it's at this one. I just recently seen a video of a wildlife photographer in this, like, glass cage, and a polar bear comes up, and it's, like, seven and a half feet tall, and it just spends an hour trying to eat him. But it's just like, oh, oh, oh. Ah, you know, with the camera and stuff, he's like, "This is amazing." <laughs> I'm like, "Jesus, <laughs> fuck, man!" You know, what, what, if, what if one guy just put the nail in the wrong spot? You're dead, you know, <laughs> right? Yeah. Ugh. Glass. Like, what if he just knocks it over and you didn't know the ice was thick? Exactly. And he's just dead. Because those things can swim almost as fast as they can walk. It's crazy. It's crazy, but no. okay. Well, thank you, Coke Bear. Yeah, Coke. All right, this is too blind wave. That's us. It is. Just the more delicious chips. Just open that and look at it. <laughs> Isn't it shocking? Yes. <laughs> Give that. So I just opened it. It's one of the most shocking things I've seen this morning. I, you just don't expect to see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's multiple masks in here. There is. 
Oh my gosh. They really should have put those face down. <laughs> no, it was perfect because I opened it and I wanted to be like, ah! But I was like, no, save it. Oh my gosh. Uh, Your big head. Wait, where are his eyes? In his where nose. Eyes? Okay. Yeah. Dude, so I could just use this and not have to use my mask to go out in public. Yeah. Perfectly safe. Yeah. Even though there's just a whole bunch of holes all over it. <laughs> yeah, I could just shoot my tongue at things and eat things. Please stop doing That's that. That's safe. Well, there are... A, it's perfect. There's three masks in here. There's three of us. No, it's okay. We're one. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, the Jar Jar stuff... Why? Has... Greatly, greatly helped me today. <laughs> so, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Jar Jar Mask, everybody. That oh, dead box was just like... That's <laughs> perfect. I can tell it was either something really good or really bad. <laughs> it was a mix of both. It come out like the snake. Yeah. <laughs> just... Ah! Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. It's from Shadow. Oh. Hey, Shadow. Yeah, right? Like, it's going crazy. Well, he's going to be like, hey, you guys haven't done it for two months. <laughs> <laughs> he just sends something, like, every week. It just happens to be... Ah! Oh, these are great. What? Well... Oh, a it's poor a push. push. And it's also extra heavy duty. Ooh, and it has the crinkly in it. Yeah. You know who loves that? Puppies. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to hump the shit out of that. He, he just got fixed, but yes, he will. And there's one. It's it's a Wookiee rope ring. It's oh, a chewy, that's cool. It's a Chewy Chewy. It's a Chewy Chewy. He loves the Chewy. Obi, Obi likes to play this game where he brings you something and says, hey, Hold this. And then he's like, no, don't hold it. And takes it back. And then he's like, hey, hold this. No, quit he, holding it. He wants you to <laughs> wrestle with it. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. You got a charger. Obi. Obi. Can you give me that charger? Give me that. Oh, my gosh. There's more. What else you got? Aaron's favorite. Is that a porg? A porg. Get the porg. That one's crunchy. It's crinkly. Ooh, that one you can touch, bud. <laughs> it's Chewy. You love your Chewies. You love Chewies. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Come here. Bring it back. No? It's gone. <laughs> so is that one. What about Jar Jar? <laughs> I'm gonna get the jar jar, Obi. I'm gonna get the jar jar. I'm gonna get the jar. Ah! Oh, no! No! <laughs> Obi. Obi. Let me get the jar. Ah! You got him! Here. Come get him. Good boy. Well, he loves them. Alrighty. Here is a squeaky pork for Obi to play in <laughs> celebration for his six month birthday from Shadow. Hey. Here is a nice chewy toy for Obi to celebrate his six month birthday from Shadow. It squeaks too. Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shadow, so much. Thank you. Obi's gonna love these. There's a lot of, there's a lot of tape going on here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it. You're Rick, right? You rip things open. This is a board game box. I want to be careful. Unless it's Kano Man, and then I don't. It's a great dilemma. It's like the cat. Garfield? Schrodinger's. <laughs> like, you have a cat inside a box. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, god damn it. What? You I can't believe this exists. What? It's, no. What? It's yes. impossible. Yes, please. What? Is it Kitty Lane Search Risk? your feelings. You know it to be true. Jar Jar Binks 3D Adventure Game. Oh. That's a relic from an ancient time. Look at that branding. That's from episode one, man. It's it great. Is. God's name is this. It pops up, it says. 1999. Copyright. Yeah. Wow. 
It's in such great condition. It is. To wear the perils in this pop-up planet landscape, can you survive all five? Dar Jar Banks and his sidekick, you, raising home to Uta Gunga in a 3D adventure filled with action, danger, and excitement. Keep an eye on the bumbling banks every step of the way. For fearsome foes and moving traps lurk everywhere. Race through the swamp and avoid the droid. Wander over the plains and don't get... Don't let the... Kadu buck you off. <laughs> Travel underwater and don't let the sea creatures swallow you. Who will be the first to get Jar Jar Binks home? If you can survive the perils of this interactive board game, a hero's welcome awaits you. Wow. And what you don't realize is there's a sixth challenge. The boss battle at the end. And it's just Jar Jar. Jar Jar himself. Now, Rick, despite you not liking Jar Jar... It's kind of an interesting concept that you have to follow this character that's fucking up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's a lot like in um, Earthworm Jim. Yeah. Uh, the doll sections of that where yeah. you have to, like, escort him yeah. through different places. Earthworm so that's cool. Jim? I don't know. Yeah. yeah like Jim. J-I-M or Groovy. J-I-M. Groovy. J-I-M, yeah. Huh. Yeah, he's an earthworm named Jim. And he got into a special suit, and now he's a superhero. Exactly. I don't understand why you're confused. Groove, gr- gr- groovy. You'd understand if you played. That's from James. One of my favorite Super Nintendo games I've ever played. It's a great game. It's a fun cartoon too. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that is just a time capsule you're holding right there, and we should never play it because then you'd have to open it. Yeah, I'm, it's true. I'm shocked. It looks like it's not like something that someone has sealed and then repackaged or anything. It looks original to me. It does look original. I mean, this is probably highly sought after. Probably. Possibly. Like. Huh. Amazing. I'm I'm still stunned. I don't know. If, I don't know if Sansweet has one of these. So much Jar Jar. You can just. Oh, man. Look at this for hours. I don't know what to make of it. Some things define explanation. Okay, so I have my last in the pile over here. Well, dang. Yeah. It's a big, heavy box. Uh, this says RF as the sender. I believe it. Ah! Believe it, Eric. No! Believe it. It's part of your chewing exam. They use so many pieces of tape. Believe it. It's all going to be for Jar Jar. It's probably easier to peel from the other side, honestly. Yeah. Like Tad sticking up. Yeah. Well, Stick your fist through the side. Step got zero. A, believe it. I got a pretty good spot right here. It's you really know. just this one piece of tape. Let's keep it. Believe it. Uh, 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 it does feel good, Rick. Believe it. It does feel good. All right, we got a note on top. Hello, Blind Wave. This is Dragon Soul from Germany. Once I found a video of two people reacting to Game of Thrones, I stayed for the rest of the channel. Finding clothes, some sweets from Germany, a lot of them count to my favorites. Maybe you could taste test the ones you don't know. Be aware, in the brown taped box... I won't finish a sentence. I don't know if I... <laughs> it says, is something forbidden in the USA? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Um, it's probably Kinder Eggs. Maybe, yeah. Mm. So, uh, greetings, and then Dragon Soul signed his name. Cool. Um, little advice for the Dickmans. You can microwave them for like 10 seconds or a bit more. The chocolate melts and the foam grows. Be careful. They can explode. Uh, yeah, okay. Awesome. Did you say Dick Mints? Dick Mans. Oh. D-I-C-K-M-A-N-N apostrophe S. Okay. Dick Mans. Well, man. It's just All Dick right, so... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. The first, some German newspaper, which is kind of cool, actually. It's a way. Can you read it? No. Try. Blitzen, Lassen, Matt, and Kuschen did. Oh, Cock Carson done disco in Tim 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the forbidden in the USA one. We'll save that for later. But yeah. we got stuff in here like chip and French. Well, it's just like hot chips with the pepper on there. Nice. Uh, Erdenus. Fl- I'm the last person to be saying this. <laughs> uh, this looks like some kind of like peanut thing. Peanut crunchies? Yep, peanut yeah. crunchies. 
Oh man, this is a uh, currywurst style, so like a curry flavored yeah. chip. We got a big chocolate Easter bunny. Whoa, that is a big Easter bunny. We definitely bunny. got some Kinder stuff here. Yes. Chocolate, chocolate Kinder chocolate. Harvio. More Kinder. Haribo. Nutella. Nutella. Oh, those are Nutella sticks. Those are great. Milk and Ritz. Vanilla Gitchmuck. Inten Mutenferkin. More Harvio. Um, more Harvio. This is uh, like a licorice, like roll almost. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, it's, more chocolate. It's licorice tires. Super Dickmans. Wow. Okay. Um, Maybe some, you put uh, them in the microwave and they like grow. Looks like some hanuta, which I feel like we've had that before. Yeah, hanuta. Some toffee. Little candies. These are great. I love uh, some knopters, which oh, that looks I kind of those. like. Yeah, these are kind of like s'mores almost. That's great. Oh man, we got some Dai Bichton chocolate Savon Ferrero. Okay, awesome. The classic chocolate. Uh, some knoppers. They're Ferrero shares. Some cherry, uh, like almost lic licorice sticks. Ooh. Some Milka. This is really good. Chocolate. Milka, yes. Oh, okay. So these things. Those are the ones that spill all out here. All this right. We also open. got some mini Bunter mix. Got to have some Bunter mix. Man, this is going to be like a surprise taste test in all of this stuff. Yeah. Marzipan. Marzipan. Um, like ja Room Ertz Erd Nusks. Some kind of nut, I'm assuming, or or I don't know what that could possibly be. <laughs> and then uh, at the very end of it, uh, catch cheese, Capsi, <laughs> which is like a gummy maybe with like a panda on it. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the box. This is some kind of chocolate covered peanuts or something. Yeah. Now I Jar also gotta urgent. check this out. Okay. What is in this brown box? You want to open this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, right now we're not wanting to actually eat a whole lot of things that we've gotten in mailbag. Um, right now, but you know, I don't feel too bad about it, especially because we quarantined it for a bit and it's all sealed. So I might try something. I might try one thing. All right. I'm not gonna try everything. But uh, does anybody want to try anything? Is were any of those like, ooh? Rick, would you like a nopper? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Man, this is a lot of tape. Yeah. Highly effective. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, I can see a little bit through the plastic. Is it? Ah, it's Kinder Eggs. I was still right. It's yeah. Kinder Eggs. So why are these? It's because the they're though. candies with toys inside. Oh. And the government believed that kids were too stupid to understand that there's a toy inside of candy. Okay. You know, like there is with cereal boxes and all kinds of things. So I eat this, and then there's a toy. And then, well, you break it open, and there's a toy. And, yeah, just be intelligent and, and don't eat the candy and the toy. And you're good. I don't understand. Oh. Whoa. It's really oh, it's easy. like a protective shell. Yeah, it's really easy not to eat the toy. Like, it's ridiculously easy. And then there's a little oh. toy in there. It's a little puppy humping something. What? Oh. And it does this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> is it like a... Is it a stylus? No, it's like a crown. Is it, oh, is it a crown? Yeah. Huh. So you push it down and you can... There's a crown there. Okay. Cool. Mm. Wow. Did you say crown? No, I'm just sticky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I really didn't know that's why they were illegal. Yep. Oh, yeah. Man, that chocolate's so fucking good, you might die. <laughs> you know? Is it? No, I, I, no it's, it's good chocolate. I just didn't know why. I thought people were like, you know, like, in, ja in, in Japan, they have this, some sushi that, like, this fish, like, if it's not prepared correctly, it will poison you and you'll it's die. Puffer fish. Yeah. I, mean, I just don't eat that. 
I'm like, no, it's good though. I'm like, yeah, but you could die. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking something like that, but I got this. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. For these German snacks. snacks. I know Aaron would love these. Yeah. How do you say snack in German? Tasting good. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Tasting good. You sound like Tar Jar, <laughs> Captain Tar. No. Yeah, tasting good. <laughs> well, we really appreciate it. Uh, one of my favorite things about mailbag is being Whoa. able to. These are huge. Like taste snacks from all around the world. It's just that right now we're trying not to. You know, it's it's a weird thing because like. The message is we should all come together and make sure that we're, you know, working together to fight this off. But it's also but the exact separate. opposite thing that people want to do. Yeah. Just come together. So it's hard to fight, you know? <laughs> but anyway, we will uh, we will put this in the snack drawer. And then as people feel more comfortable, they can have something to snack on between the videos. Or if they want to take home and someone wants to try something. What's like the, the lumpy yogurt? I don't know. I don't get that one. It looks like it says ready in 10 minutes, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. Can't remember. What? The... No, the, the pudding, not yogurt. Flan. Sorry. Huh? Flan? No, flan is like a... Is like a... Custard. Yeah. I'm talking about like the... The, the pudding that has lumps in it. Tapioca. It's tapioca. like vanilla tapioca. Okay. <sighs> I gotta stretch. All right. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, this is the last box, right, Calvin? Yeah. Yep. And it's a huge one. Oh, jeez. I'm not exaggerating. Ah! Oh, you just broke the table. I felt it break. Weighs okay. 65 pounds, 9.2 ounces. I mean, this box has literally been in a hallway for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Let's see what's in. Gee. Who's the front? Stop. It's Benjamin Banger. Benjamin Banger. Of course. Of course it is. Fruit by the foot! Huh. I love fruit by the foot. So it's probably just gonna be a shit ton oh of snacks, right? Gosh. Not just snacks. No? We got some other stuff too. Okay. See a pink fruity thing. Uh, ooh. So we have a Geralt, Geralt from Rivendell. Witcher 3. Yeah. Wild Hunt. It's the Igni version. All right. Hey, crew. I heard the news announced on the podcast, no WaveCon. I completely understand and know I will plan to make it next year in August. In the meantime, I may have planned ahead a little bit. It's not all I plan to bring, but mostly. Figure I should send it now with the rations being low. Also, you should still expect the Crusader gift sometime in the future. Mm. Best wishes to you and your families and your Dababa. Aww. <laughs> thank you. So thank you very much, Benjamin. We have Cocktail Classic. Now, I have tried these. These are amazing. They yeah. taste like alcoholic beverages, but they're not alcoholic. Oh, they're so much juicy fruit gum. Juicy fruit. Hawaiian punch drink packs. Ooh. Full size 100 gram bar. Ooh. Mallow cups. Oh. Juicy fruits. Oh. Reese's cups. Fruit gushers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh fruit my, my foot. Oh my god. Cowtails. Oh my god. Babe Ruth. Snapple jelly bellies. I like to think that Benjamin Banger like goes to a Star store. Kids. You know, remember like whenever you would win like one of the Nickelodeon television show things, they're like, "All right, you can shop for three minutes, go!" And you run around doing this stuff. Yeah, that's what he does. I figured. <laughs> I think it's just Yeah. They have to do that too. Star Patch Kids streams. You just like go into a supermarket. Yeah. Eric. Oh. Oh my God! It's just delicious crumb plush. Obi doesn't get this one. This one's mine. That's amazing. Remember when we were at yeah. Celebration? I was like, yeah. man, I want one of these. Yeah, you got one now. That's he, fantastic. Yeah, he, he needs to be just out of reach so he's pounding over you. Detective Pikachu. Detective Hat. Ooh, cool. Breakfast bacon jerky. Ready to eat. Ugh. Oh, that's good. That looks good. And we have <laughs> a little the Baba Deer. <laughs> nice. I'm sure that's what it's for. Nice. All righty, we have a shirt. This is a medium. Medium shirt. Ah. Oh. Donald uh, Duck. Sorry. Let's do this over here. Everyone will be good with that. Yeah. The king of the Wait, 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 wait. Alright. 
dishonor on your whole family, you and your cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. From Mulan. So fantastic. That's I fantastic. love that. That's great. We have a Aristocats Intense Hydration Pearl Face Mask. Probably also for Dababa. Where do you get these? Oh, Eric! Oh, hey, look at this. We were just talking about this in the... Uh, Clone Wars. Clone Wars. By your command. Cylon oh Centurion. God. Mini Bubblehead. Oreos. Oh my Whoa. gosh, Oreos, yes. Oreos. Oh my god, man. Alright. Too much. I can't put more into oh, that. Geez. Box. This box is filling up back here. This box is only a quarter of the way empty, Eric. All right, we have a Gundam Double Zero Shia Quan T. What? Nice. That's super cool. Like a model? Sorry, Rick. Ooh, dude, Shane shit would love this. Yeah. And we have a... Damn. Who the fuck is this? Ezra Scarlet uh, from Fairy, Fairy Tale. Tale. This is the show that <laughs> Rick... Or uh, Eric used one to watch. I yeah. wonder why. I oh, wonder why. Yeah. Jesus. So we have a uh, Battlestar Galactica figure. Uh, John Deacon from Queen. Yes. Oh. We have these little stackable guys. Ninja Turtles. Raph. Uh, all of them but Leo. I know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little some kind of pouch thing. Oh, it's got D&D minis in it. Ooh, oh, these look what? great. Huh. Okay. It's, it's, a, uh, it's, a it's a mimic, but it's got D&D figures in it. Oh, those are super cool, Rick. Sweet. You'll have to check those out later once that's sterilized. <laughs> Alrighty. We have Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. The movie, right? Yeah. Uh, it's on yeah, Blu-ray. The feature film on Blu-ray. Nice. Awesome. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children Complete. You're just talking Blue about Yep. Upstairs. I'll take that home. I've never seen the director's cut. Really? We have a Playmation um, Avengers Black Widow. Oh, cool. That's cool. More cowtails. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. It's a figure from Stargate. SG-1. Oh, okay. Teal'c. Very cool. I love that a lot. And we have a Legend of Zelda. Framed Ooh, artwork. Look it's at the all tomb. the lakes. Yeah. yeah. It's at the bottom there. Yeah. All That's the lakes. <clears throat> Very cool. That's super cool. Oh my gosh. Kool Aid Jammers. Capri Suns. Oh my god. Capri Hopefully, sucks. one straw from another doesn't go through one of these. Yeah, that was. Over. This was risky. This was so risky. I mean, you can't. Stick the straw on when you want to. That's Those things are impervious. That is not the case <laughs> when I put the straws in. Normally, it goes through both. Ah! Oh, um, I don't know how the song starts, but here. DuckTales figures. Oh! <laughs> Whole bunch of It's the figurine playset. They don't. Duck bird. They don't that's have cool. the that's from the electronic Disney. bases here. That's from the Disney store, I think. Yeah. Alrighty. Ooh, this is still good. so much stuff in here. All right, Super Saiyan Future Trunks. What? Sorry, Rick. What? Oh, that's just a good place to put things. Oh yes, yes. The child. Hey, whoa, I didn't even know that came out. That's nice. awesome. That's so good. People are so hungry for that. It's our first Baby Yoda thing, except for shirts. Uh. Uh. Open. Here we go. There is, so there is so much stuff, and they're still half, like half full. Uh, Hakuna Moscato. It means drink wine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. We have a book, The Monsters Know What They're Doing, Combat Tactics for Dungeon Masters by Keith Amon. Oh, cool. I don't think he needs this, but thank you. <laughs> Royal Rumble Ring Breaker game. Hmm. This is amazing. Nice. Look at that. Ring Breaker. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what that game is. Yeah? Well, it's a different take on a game made in Korea originally, I think. But yes, 
A different theme, anyway. Dungeons and Dragons and Philosophy, Raiding the Temple of Wisdom, edited by John Cogburn and Mark Silcox. Very nice. Nice. Empire of Imagination by Gary Gygax and the Birth of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Gary Gygax and the Birth of Dungeons and Dragons by Michael Whitwer. Yeah. Oh, Michael Whitwer. Is that Sam's brother? No, no. Approaching the Possible, World of Stargate SG-1 by Joe Storm. Cool. Don't look too close at these in case we react. Mm. Stargate SG-1, the ultimate visual guide with DVD. Whoa, okay, I've never seen that before. That's super awesome. I'm going to take that that home. Oh, shit. Final Fantasy Ultimania Archive, volumes, uh, volume one, and it covers one, two, three, four, five, and six. Holy shit. And Final Fantasy Ultimania Archive, volume two, covers seven, eight, and nine. Holy shit. Yes, one era. Oh, my gosh. All righty. Final Fantasy Ultimania Archive, Volume 3, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Jesus. There's no tactics yet. <laughs> no. This is the best Final Fantasy. 5,100 questions, <laughs> Mega crazy. Ultimate Star Wars Quiz Book. Ooh. We could definitely use this. Yeah, Quiz Book. Remember the Alamo, uh, Texans, uh, Tejanos, and Mexicans tell their stories. By Richard Bruce Winders. Oh my god, this is so hard. Pirates and Privateers, Swashbuckling Compendium of Seafaring Scoundrels by Charlotte Montague. The Essential Scratch and Sniff Guide to Becoming a Wine Expert by Richard Betts. Oh. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> it's a whole library, he says. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This ultimate quiz book is about the expanded universe before Disney. Really? Uh, yeah. We ain't gonna get any of this. No? Okay. <laughs> More candy randomly. All right. It's superfood recipes. Akai berry. Or acai, however you want to pronounce it. I gotcha. pronounce it akai. Because it sounds like akai. Star Wars. If you love the films, there's no reason you should be missing out on this comic. Mm. Aaron Yu Molina Mayhew. This is great. Okay. So it's like the... Is it Marvel? Oh, sorry. It's, um... Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, it's Marvel. Yeah, okay. Sweet. That looks really cool. Very cool. Oh, my gosh. Watchmen, the art of the film. Ooh, nice. That's super cool. Oh. What's you see in there? And the World of the Witcher video game compendium. And it's nice. finally empty. <laughs> wow. So much stuff, Benjamin. Incredible! It's impressive that you find all this. It's impressive that you put it... It's most impressive you fit it all in a box. Yeah. How did all that stuff fit in there? Like, I I guess he just fills up what he can, and then he just, like, puts even more... He packs it with candy. Yeah, he packs it with candy, and then he's like... And does more... Like, I'm sure he has one of those those shake tables Uh where, like, you put a, a fancy thing in there, Yeah. and then you put, like, beads, like... Plastic beads and stuff as Maybe. like a packing material, and then they like shake that. it. <laughs> Betty's really good at Tetris and the inventory system in Resident Evil 4. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you have all of this, and then there's a literal giant box. Just full of candy? Of full of candy and treats and stuff. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this but thank you so super much. Super cool. All right. Well, that was a hell of a mailbag to come back from. Hell of a mailbag. Yeah, so... Anyway, uh, we don't know exactly how frequent mailbags will be. Uh, maybe we'll have one next week. Maybe we'll have every two weeks. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out uh, what it's going to be moving forward. But um, I was thinking, like, hey, you know what? There's, like, 31 boxes. That's not too bad uh, in terms of being, on, being off for for two months. But, yeah, this was yeah. one. <laughs> this was one box. <laughs> not even one entire box. Thank you guys so much for sending us stuff. If you want to, it's down in the P.O. box. Just don't send us anything perishable because we'll probably be setting it aside for a little while. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's incredible. We love this stuff. I still... What is this? <laughs> what is this? Why does it exist? 